Hey Lions, I'm Andy Wellens and welcome to the LMU Sports Network. Baseball took the opening series against UCSB as they were led by Phil Caulfield, who hit 500 on the weekend. His solid performance also earned him Rawlings WCC Player of the Week honors. The Lions dropped their first game, but stringed things together to take the next two to start things off with a 2-1 record on the young season. LMU was also led by Brenton Arriaga and Corey Abbott on the mound, as they both had great pitching performances to pick up the two wins for the Lions. LMU will now prepare for their home game against Tennessee on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. in their weekend series against Washington State. Men's tennis jumped on top on Thursday by gaining the doubles point, but was unable to secure the victory as they fell to UNLV 5-2. The doubles point came from the wins from the pair of Nick Borchenko and Max Kaiser, as well as Gabriel diaz Friere and Lucas Monter. The Lions also gained a singles point from diaz Friere, who topped things off on court four. LMU is now 2-4 and four on the season as they head into a weekend at home, taking on Fresno State on Friday at 1 p.m. and Arizona on Sunday at 12 p.m. Softball traveled to Palm Springs this past weekend for the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic. LMU went 2-2 two two on the weekend, losing to Arkansas and Cal while beating Liberty and capping off the weekend with a walk-off win against Cal State Northridge. The Lions went into the final game against CSUN, trailing 1-0 into the bottom of the seventh. However, the momentum changed as Caitlin Harmon singled up the middle to score Lindsay Matoy. The game ended with a wild pitch as Taylor Lockwood stole home to improve the score to 2-1. Two to LMU's win was also fueled by Hannah Vandermeer's solid pitching performance as she held CSUN to one run. The Lions are now 4-6 and six on the season and will now prepare for a weekend at home against Michigan State starting on Friday at 1 p.m. Men's basketball rolled to an 82-61 PCH Cup win over Pepperdine on Saturday afternoon. The Lions were led by Stephen Haney, who produced a season-high 25-point performance. Haney also tallied seven three-pointers throughout the game. Brandon Brown also added 14 points for the Lions, while Boy Tosh added 13 points. The Lions, who are now 13-14 and 14 on the season and 6-10 and 10 in WCC action, will now prepare for their senior day home game on Thursday at 7 p.m. against San Francisco. <laughs> Women's basketball scored a season high of 87 points to top PCH Cup rival Pepperdine on Saturday afternoon. The Lions were trailing the waves heading into the fourth quarter, but outscored them by 12 to earn the 87-78 victory. The performance also helped the Lions complete the season sweep over the waves. Jackie Johnson had yet another stellar performance as she produced 31 points on 14 for 20 shooting. LMU, who is now 13 and 14 on the season in 8 and 8 in conference action, will be on the road next as they travel to play San Francisco on Thursday. Thanks for watching, and from the LMU Sports Network, I'm Andy Wellens.